Hey, what's going on guys? It is me, Platinum Quinn, and if you did see my last video, you would know that I did a top 10 least favorite Fortnite skins that I regret buying. And now, here we are with the top 10 skins that I don't regret buying, and I've been playing for a long time. I've been playing since before Seasons, and then back when Season 1. I just mainly played Save the World. Then I made the transition to Battle Royale, and then that's when I started making videos on it. So, here they are. My number 10. These aren't in order yet. So, one of the skins that I absolutely don't regret buying is the Chomp Senior. A lot of people don't like it, but my favorite combo to run with him is the Power Chord gu uh, Guitar and the Chomp Senior. Like, it looks so clean together. I just absolutely love it. And I just absolutely love the Chomp Senior skin. And that's my personal opinion. Other people can have their own beliefs on it. Alright. Number 9. I absolutely love the skin. I've been just using the crap out of it. And that is the Fate skin. So, already, Fate is a really cool skin all around with the black leather... Um, it's not a mask, but like the hood. And then like the leather side of the jeans with just all around a cool skin but if you uh combine it with where is it this so if you combine it with the uh back bling of the whiteout it just looks so clean together so it looks like fate is an actual ninja and Another great back bling with it is the Red Knight, as you guys can see right here, and then the blue, the Squire Shield, like, and the Iron Cage. So, basically, any back bling you throw on Fate, it's going to look good. Like, even the Hatchling, the Omen Cape, any back bling you throw on Fate is going to look good. And that's just one reason why I absolutely love her. Number eight. A skin that I don't regret buying is the Power Cord. I love this skin. The design is amazing. The way that she looks like she's an actual punk out rocker chick and a raver just absolutely screams. I love this skin because I listen to like rap rock mix and I just really enjoy the skin because one, it's only come into the store once and then two, it's just... A good skin all around to match like her name power cord like a raver rock star sort of female number seven the raptor granted the skin has come back into shop so many times but it's such a clean skin like it's a basic skin but it's an amazing skin at the same time so like it's got the yellow mask which you guys can see he kind of looks like a fight pilot from like a war turned into uh, like a traitor sort of thing. So that's why he's wearing the ski mask. And I just absolutely love that about him. Another skin I don't regret buying. Abstract. The male version of the technique back in season 4. This skin just looks really great. I love this skin mainly because of the paint splatter and the vest. All the, the just all around the design. I really enjoy the skin and Epic did a really good job of detailing him and that's what I enjoy about him. And plus really good pairs good with a lot of the back blings as well. Another skin, the burnout. So any any skin that really has black and white or black and red combined just is already a great skin in my opinion. And this skin just turns a hardcore biker into a badass with and another reason is i watched the walking dead and the leather jacket and like his outfit reminds me of like the walking dead's main protagonist and that's one of the reasons i bought it plus goes well with a lot of back wings as well like really any back wing you throw on it it's gonna look good Another skin I don't regret buying at all is the gumshoe. I love when Epic brings out two sets of characters, a male and a female version. 
Um, I'll only buy the female version except for that Rabbit Raider that I said in my last video. And this skin just looks amazing. Like the details of getting like a 1930s detective was spot on. Like as you can see, those are the glasses and the pearls that they wore. Like the high top pants with overalls, the just the lock and the badge. Everything about the skin looks amazing and I just absolutely love it. Number three, contrary to my old video, or my last video about the skins I regret buying, the Rogue Agent. This is by far the best of the two starter packs that we have. For this, I bought the $5 or $6 pack because of the skin, not just the V-Bucks, unlike the Wingman skin. I bought this because I really enjoy the skin and I love rocking it. It's a really cool skin with a really nice design. The mask reminds me of one of the masks from Halo, which I played a lot when I was a kid, so I just really enjoy the skin. Another skin, the back bling that pairs with everything, the whiteout. It's the female version of the burnout. Uh, granted, you could say that the um, red line is the female version of the burnout, but I personally think it's the whiteout. Whiteout is the it's like the yin and yang of the burnout. So this is all white and black. And this is black and red. You cannot tell me that these two don't look amazing. Like the skin details, like the design details on the vest, just everything about the skin I love. And finally, in my number 10 spot is the Bright Bomber. And again, it's kind of like, contradicting what I said in my last video how like epic ruined these skins by bringing them out into the shop so much but hey that's epic's choice to do that but I've had the skin back since season two when it first came out or whenever it first came out um I've always loved the skin I've loved the hair on it just the outfit not because it's like really feminine but just whenever I use the skin it always like helped me to perform better which is weird because like it's just a skin and doesn't give any boost but like whenever I was using the skin I felt like I was doing better than it in it than I was say the uh, two season two skins that I had like granted I was still dropping eight kill games back in season two when I was still bad but with this skin I was dropping 10 11 kill games and it just made me feel like a better player where i could push people more and take more risks but then again epic constantly brings these skins out which just kills it it makes it look like another version of a default skin which is super super unfortunate and i hate that epic had to do that with these skins but i do love them and Really, that's all I have to say. My top 10 skins, Bright Bomber, White Out, Rogue Agent, Gumshoe, Chump Senior, opposite of what a lot of people think and say about it, the Fate Skin, the Power Cord, the Raptor, the Abstract, and the Burnout. But as you guys can see, I have so many skins, and I've also spent so much money on this game. Like I said earlier, I spent 11 hundred dollars or more on this game because i'm not including like save the world and everything but like i have the majority of the skins and pickaxes in the game which is quite a lot and i also have a lot of emotes like i have so many emotes but these are just my personal preferences and i love them well, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like. Tell me what your favorite skin is down below. And also, if you haven't watched my new, my old video where I talk about my skins that I regret buying, tell me what the skin you least, or that you regret the most. And.